Attorney General Jeff Sessions under fire this evening, facing new questions about what he said under oath about his time on the Trump campaign and any discussion involving the Russians. Some asking, how did Sessions forget what was discussed at this meeting with the campaign advisor who has now pleaded guilty and is cooperating with special counsel Robert Mueller? ABC's chief investigative correspondent Brian Ross tonight. The Attorney General of the United States, Jeff Sessions, is being accused tonight of hiding the truth. He either has a terrible memory uh, or he deliberately was not telling me the truth. All based on new information about what happened at this Trump campaign meeting chaired by then Senator Sessions. According to court filings this week, foreign policy advisor George Papadopoulos, seated between Sessions and Donald Trump, told the group he had connections with Russia that could help arrange a meeting between Trump and Vladimir Putin. Yet Sessions twice testified no one in the campaign was involved with Russia. First, in January... Senator Franken, I'm not aware of uh, any of those activities. And then again last month. I don't believe they occurred. An aide to Sessions disputes the Papadopoulos account. But another person at the meeting, J.D. Gordon, a campaign aide, recalls Sessions being part of a discussion about the Papadopoulos proposal and shooting it down. It's part of a pattern, uh, but every time it just seems to uh, be get worse and worse and worse. Adding to the questions about Sessions' truthfulness is another former campaign advisor, Carter Page. He tells ABC News he informed Sessions during the campaign, in passing, he says, of a trip he was about to take to Moscow, a trip he described to us earlier this year. And they saw a great potential for the future. You know, I, I had been If Donald Trump was elected? Yes, yes. As for the president, he too has denied again and again anyone in his campaign was involved with Russia. No, no nobody that I know of. Nobody so you're not aware of any contacts look, during look, the course look. of the election? How many times do I have to answer this question? Just nine days ago, the president touted his memory. One of the great memories of all time. But asked today about that campaign meeting last year with Papadopoulos and Sessions, he said this. I don't remember much about that meeting. It was a very unimportant meeting, took place a long time. Don't remember much about it. And before he left for Asia, the president took his own swipe at Attorney General Sessions, asked if he might fire him for not investigating the Democrats. They should be looking at a lot of things and a lot of people are disappointed in the Justice Department, including me. Brian Ross with us here tonight. And to keep things straight for our viewers at home, we know that Jeff Sessions met twice with the Russian ambassador during the campaign. After initially denying any contact with the Russians, he later amended this testimony acknowledging he did. But Brian, these are new questions about a second meeting during which the Russians were discussed, even the idea of meeting uh, between then candidate Trump and Vladimir Putin, a meeting the Justice Department says that Sessions uh, turned down, but if he did turn it down, how did he not remember turning it down? Well, that is the question, David, and today Senator Franken told me he wants Sessions to come back to Congress once again to answer a slew of new questions, saying it's time for the Attorney General now to speak with a clear and consistent voice once and for all. You heard the President say he's unhappy at the Justice Department. Brian, thank you.